This episode brought to you by Dark Crystal Light from the makers of Light Crystal Light. And when you add them both together, you get medium crystal light. Hey, everybody, we're watching the Dark Crystal and you are listening to Miscast Commentary. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Where two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. All out of bubblegum. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Findlay. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we bring to you a Henson classic. Darker than average. Yes, way darker. Way darker. Henson. Except, except the great Muppet <clears throat> Caper, because there was a crime involved. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm coinciding with the release of the Dark Crystal uh, TV show on a Netflix. A good, great idea to do this. And so I am very much looking forward to this. And there's only one way to get going is to press play. Now. No, now. Now. Sorry. Sorry. I had to restart something. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic movie. I tried to watch this with the old lady. <laughs> And uh, she fell asleep within 12 minutes, so oh. I, I can watch the rest of it now, which there is great. Go. I'm good, because I'm falling asleep 18 minutes. <laughs> you I'm made it longer on, than her, though. Because I'm on muscle relaxers. <laughs> <laughs> Love the music in this. So, this movie's so beautiful. So it's kind of a misnomer right there. It says a Jim Henson film. This is actually directed by Jim Henson and Frank Oz. Yep. Uh, they both had kind of their own job. Uh, Jim Henson was really oh, the... Wow like the artistic director, like he was framing the shots and doing that. Whereas uh, Frank Oz was the storyteller. He was dealing with like the character development and like kind of the, the grand scheme of things. Like how does this bleed into the next thing? And so, yeah, Did they not have like a storyboard or anything. Like, well, They had that, but it was just like, that was their of like when on set, that was their expertise, right. right? Like one guy would go off with the actors. One guy would go off with the cinematographers. And that I how could it. see how you would have to split it up, making something like this. This is yeah. For the time, this was super ambitious, like around this was made in 82. And usually we're seeing like three, $4 million, um, uh, budgets. This was a fifteen million dollar budget. It is. Yeah. So, uh, like for the time, wow. we're talking like just shy of a hundred million dollars today, probably. Like, That's amazing. You know, so it like, probably is something like that, like the conversion. Yeah, it's considerable considering it's the early eighties. Um, I have seen. I've touched one of these guys. You have? Uh, yeah. These were these guys were uh, actually they were at Comic Con this year too. One of these guys, because um, that that guy who was uh, with the Muppets had his whole little thing there. Oh, that's right. He, you're right. He was. Yeah. Yes. But I got a picture. I, I don't oh no, Maybe I didn't get a picture with him, but I, but I did touch him. Like I was walking by and touching everything. I don't think they really want you to, but I was doing it anyway. <laughs> whatever. So why they had them all raised up in the air mm -hmm. with very few exceptions. This was also the first movie with no actors in it. Like obviously the puppeteers and the, in and of themselves are actors, the voice people and stuff, but like no physical bodies on there. There's a couple of wide shots of Gelflings where they actually use humans. Yeah. But like for as far as the principal acting and stuff goes, this is the there first time. There is no ever. human characters yeah. in the movie. Yeah. I think that is for some people uh -huh. like a like a like a takeaway. Like they, that's not good. Yeah. Like I think Labyrinth because it has like David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly, it's easier for people to get it's drawn in. Well, it was the same way even like with the CG animated movies and stuff like that. Beyond like the family movies, like when you're like the Final Fantasy or something like that, it's kind of like, well, but why don't we just make it live action? Right. Like that, right. But yeah, like so weird, so dark right off the bat. So basically, the uh, what Jim Henson's intention was for this. Oh my God, he's the fifth element. Uh, <laughs> no, but what uh, Jim Henson's intention for this was was to kind of like tell the stories, uh, like similar to uh, 
what's it called to uh, like the Brothers Grimm fairy right. tales and stuff like that. Uh, they wanted he wanted to have something that was darker than norm, like than the norm. Uh, but the, like this got reaction from people because they were like, "Oh, this is way too scary for kids to go see and stuff like that." So this is a more ad- adult uh, attended film some kids did see it it was rated like for kids to be able to see it but it is like the imagery is it's intense in this. it's still intense <clears throat> i remember the scene later i'll tell you which one was like always stayed with me yeah. so jim henson came up with the story for this he actually worked out most of the story with his daughter when he was snowed in in 1978 mm. uh he, so he was with his daughter at like uh at a hotel uh, i was an airport hotel near kennedy airport and they just started working out all of the uh all the beats to the movie and stuff like that. I don't know how old his daughter is. I don't know if like she's like six and she's had a She's nightmare. got a dark mind. Yeah, she had a nightmare and he was just writing it down like beat for beat. He's like, don't you think this is a little dark? She like smacks him. She's smoking. She's like, no, dad, idiot. Yeah. Now go get me a hooker. It's weird for like for you to say that, you know, it's sort of more for adults. Yeah. Which is that this movie is trapped in this strange zone of being yeah. too dark for kids, but too, it's all puppets and yeah. stuff for adults. Well, exactly. Like they'd react to it and they'd be like, oh, it's just a puppet thing. It's right. Just to, like it's the Muppets back to work because the Muppet show existed by then. I love these Look guys. Look at this guy. I, rem- eh? I remember these guys well, but like I like, well, I like the imagery of it. I was, we were talking before the movie. I don't remember this movie that well. I have not seen it in this decade. And wow. we were at the end of this decade. I, I think I, I saw it, maybe the last time I saw it was maybe like, it was before I was dating Carrie. So it was maybe like 2003, 2004. Oh, look at the brown note. Uh, oh, that- my God, it's working. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear yours. I like I, let's join in. Oh. I like that they're like, uh, like, do you see the people like reacting going, oh, we're doing this now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, geez, we did this yesterday. Like, it's a law. Like, but for us, it would be like singing Love Shack. Yeah, like look at all oh, no, the layers guess, and like yeah. all the. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I'm sure that I've seen. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm no. sure I've seen. A, like, I was going to uh, say bullshit. So <laughs> <laughs> we take it. Oh, we're going to see Gelfling Wang. Yeah. Maybe they don't even have Wangs. He looks like a. Um, what's it called? He looks like a uh, marionette puppet. Yeah, I was going to say he kind of looks like a, one of those big like waist high GI Joes <laughs> they had back in the day, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, the um, the Gelflings actually remind me a lot of, you know, you, you go to Burning Man and they have those giant, like, 20-foot tall marionette puppets that are being run by, like, yes. 15 people. They look exactly like those. Like, they move very similarly and do all that kind of stuff. I can't believe this movie goes 15 mil. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I mean, it's, you know, every every blade of grass, everything is all made. Yeah. I saw. Well, the, I know they've got like you can use real stuff. Like you can use real grass in here and stuff. Like okay, that. well, yeah, I know what you're saying, but like, yeah, okay, they, they do kind of look like real people. But they're fake. Ex- yeah, these sets don't exist. They're like, a little cutie. Yeah, they. You probably taste so good. <laughs> ooh, there's the nothing. Uh, it's something. That, even the nothing is something. It's like Seinfeld keeps trying to get. That's away with what that. you should have said. That's what you're supposed to say to the nothing. Yeah. She's like, you're still something. I can see you. And he's like, what? Like yeah. when you don't believe in Freddy, and then he fucks off. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, like, that's a shot. That's a person. I'm sure that back in the day, I had a double taper of this, and the second tape was the making of. Probably. And it was crazy Well, it's looking. not long enough to be a double tape movie. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely. sure, or it maybe had the DVD or something, but I remember watching them make this, and it was like, look, it was a fucking nightmare. Oh, it, well, it was more ambitious than anything, like, because even, like, with the Muppets, you would always almost have, you would almost always have, like, a human on set with them. So, it was pretty easy to kind of... Well, by comparison to, like, work through it all. Oh, no. Uh, it's the same way Yoda yeah. went. He reminds me of, uh, what, like, the last of the Mohicans there. Like, in uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> I will find you. Just with, like, a dog mouth. Yeah, and a little less wrinkly. Yeah. He's, like, in the middle of the uh, uh, American Werewolf in London transition. <laughs> Watch, we'll, we'll look at his little robe, his blanket. He's got, like, a, there's, like, a like a symbol, like a... yeah. They're not showing up. There's a little yeah. swirly one there, but down near his butt. Yeah. Oh, man. That's, that's actually just a, like a charcoal filter in case he's like <laughs> gassy or whatever. It just keeps the smell like he's around a lot of fire. So they're trying to get what their diet is. You think they're, they're, they're plant eaters? 
You think they're, they, they seem like yeah. they're, they would be. They, they seem lethargic like vegans. Yes. But, they uh, seem pretty down on it too. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about David O'Dell for a second who wrote the screenplay to this. So like, like I said, Jim Henson worked out the story. But um, yeah, David O'Dell wrote the screenplay. He wrote the movie Running Scared. Mm, I uh, like that movie. Yeah. He wrote The Muppet Show, like a bunch of different episodes. He wrote Supergirl, Masters of the Universe. Oh my so God. So he's got, he's got that um, thing, which we got to do Masters oh. of the Universe. Oh my god, we just super girl, what a movie. Oh Jesus. Uh and then uh he directed um like he had a few directing credits, but he directed Martians Go Home, the Randy Quaid movie. Yeah. And which also featured a uh, role by Dean Devlin, uh, oh. of like writing uh, Independence yeah, Day. Uh, all those like uh Roland Emmerich movies. Mm-hmm. He's a like Roland Emmerich guy. Yeah. And then this was um Oswald Morris's last film as director of photography. Who? Uh, he was a director of photography on uh, what's it called like Lolita, Farewell to Arms, Goodbye, Mr. Chips, The Man with the Golden Gun, The Man Who Would Be King, The Whiz, and he did the Great Muppet Caper for uh, Jim sweet. Uh, he did so, the Whiz, yeah. Like so, he but but like it's a really diverse. Like I know, like cinematographers are just you know, uh, they don't really aren't really bound to style. Like maybe a writer or a director could be because like I know how to tell this story. I know that cinematographers are just like I'm here to paint the picture yes. for you, right? So it's like I I can paint it. You tell me what picture to paint, and I'll paint the picture. I right? think cinematography is one of the majorest jobs on a movie. Oh, absolutely! Like you watch those, uh, you know, like the Coen Brothers movies, and they're just gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Because of the way they're shot. Well, and it's such a, and also the cinematographer, like your director of photography, like when you watch movies being made, the directors spend most of their time on set dealing with the actors because they've already had their conversations with the DP right. saying, this is what needs to occur. This is what I need to see. This is what I want it to look like at the end and blah, blah, blah. And then it's that guy's job to use all of his team, which is, or her, uh, which is gigantic. And then like sort it out. Right. Because he's, he's like, okay, I'm going to tell you what you got to do because I got to keep these asshole actors in line. Yeah, exactly. First somebody's got to keep their filthy hands away from each other's genitals. Somebody's got to keep fizzy gig from <laughs> locking himself in his trailer. Exactly. Oh, there's a classic. We missed his first, yeah. uh, Whimper. Yeah, they walk a lot. Like, oh, he just said, "I hate you." Yeah. At the same time, um, yeah. This is one of the things when we talked last time we talked about Dark Crystal. You were doing that, and I had no idea what the Ooh. reference was. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is it right here. Yeah. This scene where they do close-ups of the old emperor here. Yeah. I swear to shit, like haunted me. Yeah. <clears throat> there was two movies that got me. Where I was like, what movie was that? And it, the first one was Terminator 1, where, where Reese ends up in the alleyway, mm-hmm. and it looks like he's got scales, but he's burnt. Oh, yeah. And I remember looking over oh. and this, and, and when yeah. he starts talking, I'm just like, oh, my God. And I remember years later seeing the movie again, and when I saw him, I was like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. hey, this is it. Yeah. They actually remind me a lot like this. I, I feel like they're, again, it's another fifth. <laughs> Jesus. It's another, it's another fifth element. Uh, reference, but like all those alien things at the beginning, like the right. suits. That's I a weird that fucking movie. Eh? Yeah, I love that movie though. It's fun. This is I do too. Actually, yeah. this. Oh my this is, lord! This is how Trump's going out. By yeah, the way. just so you. This know. is how Trump wakes up every day. Yeah, it's always somebody trying to like take the nuclear button from him. He's like, nah. This reminds me of any time one of my family members is in the hospital. People <laughs> leaning over trying to grab watches, wallets. Yeah. They, their hand slaps you. I'm not dead yet. And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. Close your eyes for a little bit longer there. I'm here because I broke my toe. Get away from <laughs> yes. me, you monsters. It is. Uh, oh, that like, is. See, this kind of shit is in him. Like, kids be freaking. That's less Jim Henson and more Tim Burton to me. Like, that is just fucking terrifying. Yeah, that is all. that is a lot. Oh. Uh, but oh, it's there look at that, like a boner in the mm-hmm. night. There it goes. It's I'm really looking forward to with with the new one too. Uh like just the the fact that so much of it is practical. Yep. And they've I think that they are going I'm confident anyways, like I, I'm not making a prediction, but I'm confident that they will use CG to enhance, yes. but not to be a crutch. I think it's gonna be in the vein oh. of is it Brian Henson that's doing it? Uh, I don't know who the executive producers are and stuff, but because I think it, he's involved. Is it the Jim Henson company now the run Henson. by Brian Henson? Uh, yeah, I think so. 
So he just had a Yoda death. Yes, he um, just Yoded right the fuck out of there. Is this after Yoda's death or before? Uh, I think it was before. I think. Yoda, I think. Fucking... Yeah. I think Jedi's eighty three, right? Oh, look at this guy. The second hire this guy for my wedding. Yeah. To myself. Hell's yeah. The best ceremony ever anybody's ever been to. I like the sound design in this though. Like the the sounds of the characters and like all their little theme kind yeah. of that they each have. They each kind of have their own kind of. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's uh, this movie was actually uh, b- banned and and censored in a lot of um, Muslim countries because uh, they hit on some themes that are deemed to be like sacrilegious to Muslims and stuff like that. So like, like any copies that made it into those countries, censors destroyed like right away. Really? And stuff like that. I wonder yeah. what it was. What was cut out? I don't uh, know. Well, it's not that it was cut out. It, they literally destroyed the movie. They're they just, just like, can't throw this in the here. bin. Uh, but they did that with a lot of things. Cause even like the Gelflings were originally supposed to be blue to uh, represent the, uh, I think it's uh, Rama, the Hindu, the Hindu God. Mm. Uh, and then there's uh, Greek mythology in here. There's Buddhist, there's Buddhism. Like they, they take from a lot of, uh, like religion, a lot of different religion and mythos and stuff like that. Like they don't just take from mythology; they take from yeah, they like, grab a little piece religion. from here and there, right? Yeah, and like, you want to make an omelet, get to crack some eggs. Mm-hmm. Big religious and eggs. like some of the like uh, some of the languages that are in here are like pieces of uh, like Bosnian and like they take uh, they take from a lot of those different things. As well. I wonder if they did that on purpose. If that was a purposeful thing they did, or afterwards, then you can say I see these themes or I, whatever. I think more than anything, to be honest, I think that if that would be happening in a movie today, you could probably make the that conclusion because i think people are a little bit more aware of all that right i feel like they took from those things because less people would know about it here mm. but i'm just like like he's like nobody's gonna know about buddhism here nobody's ever gonna be a buddhist you're never gonna see madonna with a kabbalah bracelet on or whatever <laughs> <laughs> that's all i want to see mm-hmm. apparently ticket sales for her concert was so low she had to cancel really yeah uh, well she's starting to get weird looking well, yeah, and that's not even that. It's just like, you know, you've had Elton John even came out and said, he's like, this is my last tour. He's like, my albums have stopped selling. I've yeah. already sold enough. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah. The, the new, the new, you know, batch yeah. of kids, they're not, they're not buying it. So you know I'm, should, I'm done and Madonna just can't get over it. Yeah. You know what he should do? He should do instead of, I don't know. Um, <laughs> You're never going to get that out of your head for like weeks yeah. now. Oh, trial by a stone. But I think that there's, uh. Like uh, people like Elton John, people like Billy Billy Joel's never gonna fucking stop, but they should stop, and then just like maybe once a year, once every couple of years, just do a big concert. Right. People would show up. I'd go. I'd, I'd still go reg- too, but I, I agree. I well, regret not going to the Elton John concert when he was in St. Catherine. Yeah, well, it was apparently it was hell expensive, right? Yeah, but, but yes, I, they, they still. I, what I don't mean in the sense that like they would never sell because they the whole no, thing no. sold out. But they just said that. Yeah, album sales are not the same. I don't come up with big, yeah. you know, singles anymore. Well, He's like, you know, I'm, I can yeah. see my time in the sun. Well, Why fight for the spotlight that I already had for 50 years? The point of touring also is to push <clears throat> your new album. Right. Whatever, right. So. But like a guy like Elton John could yeah. keep going around because yeah. he's got all the hits. Here we go. We mm-hmm. need to get to these. T- well, and that's what I say. I want to hear him go like, I don't want to go on with you <laughs> like that. That looks like a legend. Of I wonder blade. if that uh, thing they had one of these blades. I was trying to see because there was like a blade guy at Comic-Con. I was trying to yeah. guess all the blades yeah. that were there. I, I, I don't know if I would have guessed this at the time. I will now no. because I'm seeing the blade again. I, yeah, this I isn't even know. fair. They need to bring a new fucking big rock out because like this thing's been way yeah. Now it's just like you're playing the odds game. Yeah, exactly. It's not even about strength. It's like, you know, like to, we're just hey. playing the tree chop game. This is what happens in Jenga, too. Yeah, see, a Jenga. Yeah. You take a block from the bottom and put it oh, on top. Oh, right? fuck. Is a big swing from downtown. Oh, that wasn't enough, though, is my problem. Right into the, right into the groove there. That oh, similar. Well, I'd, I'd give that a seven. I gave it a solid seven. It's funny because I was just going to say that guy looks a lot like that one with like the double bi- uh, bifocals. I was like, that's the Ben Franklin of the group. And I was also going to make the reference because the Skeksy Emperor and the other guy died at the same time. And oh. I'm like, that's like John Adams and. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, who died on the same day, on July the 4th. Yep. That's, uh, that, isn't that strange that that yeah. happened? That yeah. both of them died at the same mm-hmm. time? 
Look at the drool. Yeah. You know, I like that you say the guy over there with double bifocals because yes. by looking at this puppet's glasses, you knew that they were exactly double bifocals. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, no, but I meant like he looks like he has bifocals and then another. Another. Pair of I know exactly what you mean. Yes, I was like, <laughs> oh. oh, good news. Whoa, that. it's on fire. Oh, he's the boss. He's like a fuck. Oh. All right. Uh, I guess oh, you guys playing air guitar. See, yeah. that guy was like, meow, meow. That one looked kind of like the one with the round face. Looks like one of the dinosaurs from the from the Muppet TV show Dinosaurs. Oh, my God. That shares the same name? Yes. Oh, my God. I'd love. You know what? That's it. Too late. I'm going to Comic-Con as one of these guys. Yes. You can go as a... I'll even go... If you want to... Who would you rather be? Uh, Skeksis or... Uh, I'd rather be a Skeksy there. Or, uh, no. Or do you want to be the cool guys? forearm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll be a Skeksis then. No, we should just go together as two of those things. Just be like, oh. <laughs> That'd be amazing. We don't even make it in. Our costumes are only so cost slow. $10, yeah, exactly. <laughs> actually, I'll show you what I actually would want to be as later. Look at this; is terrifying too. Yeah, up strip. Look at this he's screaming. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, they, this is the emperor gets sexed into the skexies. <laughs> the emperor ain't got no clothes, player. Exactly. Take them all. Underwear too. Uh, look at uh, look at this terrifying. Poor thing. You see, he's got a he, like he's got a penis. I'm like, he, why did you make him? For, uh, he reminds me of Starscream. Yes, very much so. Oh, he's like, okay, you're done. You're done humiliating him. Somebody give him a pink belly and send him on his way. <laughs> pink belly. Ah, um, yeah. Now, while there are nine se nine skexies, they were actually designed after the seven deadly sins, more ah. uh, religious iconography ah. and stuff like that. But uh, that was the idea. Really? Behind. Yeah. Huh. So he's like, oh, just take my underwear and get the fuck out of here. He's taking his, uh, he, it's like from the jerk. I don't yeah. need anything but my thermos. <laughs> That's a sweet sound effect, eh? I feel like, like, this is how, uh, like George Bush must have felt, like, not that, uh, not that far into his presidency. He's like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> oh, really? I gotta be in charge for this? Uh, we just saw him in the background. Mm -hmm. This is the guy that got really, you know, talk about $10,000 costume. Where's the big yeah. bug guy? What do you see? The big beetle bugs. Oh, yeah. Those guys are fucking badass. This is like top notch, like design, Matt. Oh, man. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder if that is what it would be. If it was 15 mil, would it be like around 100? That's no, the, I, don't, I don't think that's too far off. It's not that. I, I would probably say it'd be kicking around like 75, 80. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's crazy oh, for a bunch oh, of puppets and shit. Yeah. Like, but like, that's exactly the thing though. Like you said, like everything had to be built. It's not like they just went to Ireland and shot a field. Right? And and all the sets were like, like yeah. five feet in the air. Yes. Four feet. Cause you had to be underneath yeah, be them. Underneath. This guy. Yeah, you want to be the terrifying. ass end of this guy? Yeah. I don't know why <laughs> I'm always the, I don't know why I'm always the ass end of our fucking right. Well, and I'm wondering too like like which like of these guys are like are those guys hand puppeteers or are they bodies with like the bodies? Yeah, that's There's a guy in there totally. Yeah. So that's why I think they've got like the big head, right? So then they're puppet they're puppeteering hands. There might even be two guys in the bug. Yeah, no, even in the Oh, in, in the scarcity. Yeah. Look at these guys, man. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Imagine like you're going to get to take someone home from the set. Oh, Where are these guys at? Oh, they're sitting. There's some little guy fucking around. He's like, fuck, I got to hide at the pole there. See him? He was like yeah. some little rat looking thing <laughs> or something. Yeah, that was their version of the uh, the mouse droid or whatever. In yeah. Star Wars. He was like, yeah. Oh, there they go. Hmm. That was a little too Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, see, uh -huh. he's he's way turned on by those. He's just like mm -hmm. everything <laughs> turns him on. Mm -hmm. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> <laughs> he's like hedonist bot. Like everything yeah. gets him hot. <laughs> uh, so a big thing that happened in this, they ended up having to uh, like Jim Henson himself uh, had to make a lot of changes to this movie because. Uh, they got like a screening in I think San Francisco and it got butchered. Like they hated it. And the main reasons being most of this movie was in different languages. Oh, like they were all speaking different. Yeah. And so like they weren't a fan of that. And then there was just some like things that just like 
didn't like made the story a little more convoluted and stuff right. like that. So they did some stuff, but then they had to redub a lot. Like there's things that are in other languages still in this, but then there was a um uh yeah, they like they basically like rewrote everything into English, right? But then had to like rewrite the lines, like so. He's like originally they just translated back to English type thing, but then they had to rewrite them so it would match what their mouths were doing, right? So oh, it, was, wow. it was quite, which might also be another large part of this big budget, right? Damn, their faces. I love this broad. Their, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> His face bothers me, like, because all the other ones have so much life to them, and the Gelfling face is just like like a dead face to me. That's what they are. They're just like little. I don't even think they have like organs. Yeah, or like sex organs. I think they're all just Gelflings. Yeah. <laughs> this chick is awesome. This is oh, I think she's got like go- Billy goat horns in her. Yeah. Uh, is that her third eye, or is that just a big yeah. zit? Yeah, I think it's both. Ooh. But I think that like this is the most Muppet character <laughs> in, in the whole thing. Like it's like the... she reminds me of the old dirty lady in the junkyard in Labyrinth. Yeah. Oh, you like your dolly? Oh, here, yeah. here, take this. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and... This woman's awesome. Mm-hmm. This is like this is the, she's like Oprah. She's the <laughs> Oprah of this world. She knows everything. She's wonderful. <laughs> Uh, I was just recently watching the uh, all the canoe comedians and cars getting coffee, and Seth Rogen was on, uh, and he said one of his biggest all-time comedic re- uh, regrets is when he did Sausage Party that he didn't think to have an Oprah par- character called Okra with her best friend Kale. <laughs> and he's like, I just don't understand why that was. He's like, literally, the movie came out, and then I thought about that. He's like, Oh no! Like, like he oh, fucked up. Oh God. So it's actually really interesting did, interviews. This did time Seth around. Rogen do stand up comedy? Yeah. Or did they started, just consider him? He started as a stand up comic. Okay. Uh, well, I don't, he's not really known for it. No, he, uh, no, he moved to like in the, in the thing you, you should definitely watch it. But in the thing, he tells a story about how he, um, he moved to LA to be a stand up. And then he tells, it is the best line I've ever heard. He's like, there's a guy I knew who said, I wanted to be a boxer till I fought a guy who really wanted to be a boxer. Right. And he's like, and that's what I felt like. He's like, I came to LA and I wanted to be a standup until I came to a place where people really wanted to be a standup. And I was like, I have no place here. Yeah. And then he ended up becoming an actor, but it showed him at, at age 15 doing standup. Wow. Uh, like, I don't know if there's a, a lot of balls or something like that. I'm still trying to like drink up the courage. <laughs> Thank God. But it was interesting because they also have Eddie Murphy on there. I saw had... a clip from this. I was going to mention this to you, where he is saying that he's he goes, yeah, I'm going to go out again. And I yeah. know because uh, Jerry's like, hey, you know, people must come to you all the time. Being like, when are you going to do stand up? And apparently Netflix is going to pay him 70 million. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he's got it anymore. I think he does. Everybody who I've heard talk about him, like he seems like he's very serious now, but everybody who talks about him, like I know like Tracy Morgan hangs out with him and other people, they're like, I go to his house, he's still the funniest guy at the table by far. Right. He just, he's just turns like, it on when he wants yeah. to, right? And he was funny in the, like when he wanted to turn it on, he was funny in the thing too. Like he did like, you know, he brought out all the faces and stuff, but he had a lot of concerns. He was like, I didn't like, he's like the last couple times I went out, he was like, people would just cheer at me. And I wasn't even telling jokes. And then I'd right. make a face. And then people were like, yeah, woo. And he's like, <laughs> he's like. It's like the Dane Cook effect. Yeah. It was just like, he's like, he couldn't get anything out because it was just people were going like, yeah, woo. It's hooting like, and wooting. And so I get like, I get it. Tell and them then, to shut the fuck up and you're Eddie Murphy way and they yeah. will. Well, that's shut the, the thing. fuck up. Yeah. That's exactly it too. Is like, then it's like, does that people just go into another <laughs> uproar? And it's like, they fuck. probably do. It's, it's one of two. Cause like there, there's a balance <laughs> where you literally have to tell them like, okay, okay, we're done now. We're filming a but, thing here. I don't want to stand here for three hours yeah. and then have to chop all this shit out and make it an hour. Yeah, exactly. Like for fuck's sakes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the great conjunction. So this is who he was supposed to go find. Yeah. And he does have kind of a bland. Yeah. Just, well, especially to be the lead. Like, I understand that, like, everything else is supposed to maybe be a little bit more fantastical. Because right. It's like, it's like having a human reacting to, like, in, ge- in oh. Labyrinth, it's like having Jennifer Connelly react to all these right. things. So I think maybe you need nice boobs. I know. That's just because she's got the nipples going and everything. That's crazy. <clears throat> I like her. That's just, oh, Muppet feet. 
Oh my god, that's so great. I, every time I see Muppet Feet, I just freak I out. I wonder who played her. I don't know. I, I recognize a lot of the names, but I'll tell you one person who didn't play her. Billy Barty. Yeah, also. But no, there was somebody who was offered a job in this, but did not take it. Kevin Clash. No way. Who was most famously Elmo, slightly more famously arrest, uh, <laughs> like arrested for like having sex with children, yeah. but then shortly thereafter being found not guilty of that, or like right. he was like thrown in a court or whatever. I don't think I don't know what happened like to him after that though. You I'm know, because like, it ruins you. To, Even if you didn't yeah. do it, it, just the implication ruins yeah. you. Well, because well, because the thing is, is that being found innocent isn't even in the news anymore. No, no. It's like, but you've already heard the bad shit. And that, well, that's precisely why they don't want people on juries who know too much about what's going on. Yeah, like because then the, it like, skews your... Because it's like, yeah, well, yeah, I heard that he killed this dude, and that's all I know. Well, that's well, because I think it was like a Simpsons joke where it's like, you did this on the front page, yes. and then when you're innocent, and the very last page in some tiny writing, it says, "We're sorry for this." So like, uh, this oh, is yeah. what they did. Blah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because that doesn't make that doesn't sometimes, sell papers. The apology doesn't sell yeah. papers. But also, sometimes people have lost interest in it from a aspect of the 24-hour news cycle. Yes. Right? It's like, oh, we're already on to something else. We're not even talking about that. I don't even care that. about that anymore. So by the time we stop caring about it, he was still guilty. Yeah. So now that he's innocent, it's too late. Hello, it's, June, it's like, yeah, it's like, uh, I, I was absolutely outraged. Yeah. And then now the next day, I'm like, I don't even care anymore. Yeah. What about that editorial you wrote about how mad you were? What editorial? Oh, my God. I've like, written six editorials. Yeah. Three of all them all of them the, infuriated. Uh, uh, I was going to say three of them about the Milky Way chocolate bar. <laughs> Oh, shit. They found him. I feel like she wouldn't be surprised about this at all. She's like, this happens to me constantly. <laughs> 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 Which one of you is going to rape me today, boys? Oh, jeez. It's like game. I've been watching too many Game of Thrones episodes. Oh god, that's the problem. I'm just expecting bug rape. Yeah, yeah you literally <laughs> just came out. Of, we just came out of that too, didn't we? Uh, See, look at he's not scared. Like again, the uh, dead face is just like what? Huh? He's Who? scared. Huh? He just can't emote. He's he like just the, had a facelift, bro. He's like the kid from uh, Rookie of the Year. Cool. Oh my god, I wish. I love it. They're wrecking the whole. This would yeah. be cool to have at your house or something, right? The thing spinning yes. around. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this Jesus, is why buddy. this is why that movie doesn't count. This movie doesn't count as having no human performers. But like why? He, because the voices are human. No, no, because like every now and again you've got to put you've got a person. Oh, I got you. Physically right, right, right. running. Yeah, it's always in these long shots. Like this is a person, right? It's not a puppet going down Ugh, the thing. It's sick flying. But at the same time, it still counts in that there are no like human, human. There's no human faces going on in this and stuff like that. So his master, who just oh fudge. Yeah, is that the Black Panther? Is Panther? that the place? Did he? Is, are, is he Wakanda? <laughs> Is that was that? Did he fall that far? Was he looking at Agra's place? Oh uh, fuck! Yeah. Is he put his shirt back on? <laughs> oh Christ! So all he's doing is trying to sex offend. Yeah, that is. He fell yeah. pretty far. I yeah. thought he was looking at his own home there for a second. I was like, what's he looking at there? Everything's always on fire with this guy. I know. What the fuck, eh? I don't even. So know. he was sent by his master. Uh huh. Boy, it looked just like this guy, but not. Mm -hmm. and he um, was sent to Agra, who didn't get to tell him anything because they busted the fucking place up. Yeah. Oh, the crystal calls. Oh, that's good news. This is when you find out they're all like Yoda in episode three, where they're all like start flip, flipping around. <laughs> they <get> crazy. <laughs> yeah, you wait, they're saving their energy for big kung fu moves. This movie, this is what this should have been. Is they leave, and then instead of a prequel, the next Dark Crystal is a sequel, and it's them just arrive like two, 30 years later, just arriving at their destination. They're like, we're here. <laughs> we and, they're like, I've already, and they're like, yeah, we've got all this sorted out. <laughs> I've, you know. Those are cool. Look at these guys. Mm -hmm. See, those guys seem, you know, I could see uh, kind of uh, uh, comparisons to like them being like the natives. Yeah. And the Skerxes being like the shitty, or he's, just, he's on the move. Or just monks in general. Yeah, right? like like, like like monks and they're they're like all down with technology and evil and. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at this guy, he's plodding along. Yeah. See, cool. these are the shots that they, you know, that I like. Mm -hmm. This is world building. Is it, yeah, this this is... reminds me of like like Star Wars when they give you that. Yeah. You know, is that Audrey too? Is this where Audrey too comes from? Look at that guy. It just reminded me of that scene with that gig, he, the, and he grabs yeah. the, you know, in Star Wars. Yes. Look at this guy walking. 
Some big old, the fuck is that? He looks like some kind of crustacean. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, he's got like the he eyeballs like a, of a lobster. Yeah, I was going to say, he looks like a coked out hermit crab. <laughs> 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 he probably is. It's probably someone out here you can never get wasted on. It's really ambitious, though, the amount of like, like that's ballsy to have that much establishing shot. Usually in establishing shots, one like far out, like, hey, this is where we are. And right. Then right in. You go they're right like, in. They're like, no, you're going to see basically how this ecosystem works. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're going to see the entire life cycle of a blowfly. <laughs> and then... Oh, he's seeing some. Uh... The broken glass effect in 80s movies is the worst thing I've ever seen. And they <laughs> thought it was brilliant. Well, it was at the time. It was, but I'm just like. OK, well, wait, I have a question, but I have to wait until later. Remind me if uh, I forget. Remind you that you have yeah, a right. question later at a yeah, time that right. I don't know. That awesome. You're supposed to ask it. Well, because Perfect. that scare sees. Exactly. Skeksis. That Skeksis was just breaking the crystal. Yes. So that's that's where my question lies. We'll, we'll right. go back into that later. Crystal. Yeah. Crystal broken. You know anybody that's into crystals? Is that still a thing? I'm sure it is. Every now and, and then in one of these shows, somebody gets addicted to crystals, mm-hmm. like buying crystals. I watched and... an episode, uh, one of the newer episodes of The Simpsons, where Marge took over um, like crystal sales. Um, she's on crystals place. now. But she was, it was like basically, it was something where she's like, I have this crystal. And then Bart started ba- like getting good grades. Right. And then people were like putting two and two together thinking, oh, because she has the crystal, he's getting good grades. Right. So they started getting, they all started buying crystals off of her and stuff like that. But she just had like this finite supply that she got from somebody who went out of business trying to sell crystals. Nice. It's I, it, Was it all right? It, it was fine. Like it was. Uh, again, it's it's in that place where I think The Simpsons is amazing to one age group, good to another age group, and then you're just kind of like, you know, oh, that's awesome. That, <laughs> this guy. He's got like a second set of teeth like in oh, his yeah. throat. He's like Venom. Yeah. That's why he's so mad. Yeah, exactly. I can't even swallow its hell. Oh, here we go. The, uh, <sighs> the idea of that guy is f- uh, Fizzy Gig, I think is the name. Fizzy Gig. That sounds like Fizzy. a rapper. Yeah, I know. Uh, isn't, that, isn't he in jail in Sweden right now, Fizzy Gig? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's in, he's in jail. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was trying to think of for what, but forget it. Uh, <laughs> but Selling they, the children Fizzy yeah. Gigs. But they came out uh, with that thing because... Ba- oh, Fizz Gig, yeah. I know, how do you, like, you don't even remember the movie, but you remember this guy's name? Oh, I was going through, when I was going through the IMDb Oh, today. okay. Oh, I was like, uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'd like to give myself more credit than that from my memory, but yeah, no, I got nothing. It looks like it's hell. They're mouth breathers. Look at those little nostrils. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> God. I have a real thing about noses and, like, in people, not so much in Muppets. I'm going to not judge in the Muppets. But, like, I'll see somebody and I'm just, like, I'll see somebody that's got those gigantic, like, mega nostrils. And I'm like, how do you get by? This like, is happens every time we hold hands. Yeah. Well, it's, we are, uh, as they would say in Pacific Rim, we are drift compatible. <laughs> drift, Tokyo drift compatible. Yeah. Which I watched the uh, new uh, Pacific Rim not that long ago. Was uh, how it? was it? It's uh, not as good as the first. Like the first one is what it is. It's not as good as that one, uh, but it's got like it's got all the pieces in it. It's got a pretty weird. <laughs> it's got a beginning and ending. There's a no, middle. No, but you know it's what got I everything mean. you need. You know what I mean in that. Like it's yeah. like it's got, it's got like, all the, the beats. It's got the beats of the formula. Yeah, but Ooh. it's oh, hello. Ooh. But uh, we have like. Uh, got a weird twist in it it's where like, I'm just, hey, hey, hey. yeah <laughs> yeah no i was just trying to like like i i wasn't i was trying to decide how much i was going to disparage what right. i was talking about right like uh but yeah no it's like there's a twist in it i'm kind of like ah, whatever i don't really care uh so <laughs> okay so yeah let's play a game uh, Ooh, we play this game roulette. often Oh, great. Russian roulette where we've put bullets in all the chambers. Yeah, everyone's a winner. (laughs) The who plays this live action? Wow, that's a great question. I feel like I can see these two. I feel like Taylor Swift plays the girl. That's not bad, actually. Oh, we didn't talk about it last week in the thing, but have you seen the Cats trailer? Oh, God. It looks like a fucking fever dream, doesn't Dude, it? Dude, that movie, I was like, I saw the preview during, oh, she's like Ludo. Look at, she's yeah. calling on, uh, oh, that's good news. Whatever here. Look at those little feet. Yeah. This is a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> I wonder how many feet's going to be in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Look at this cutie. I'm thinking more about the Star Trek. You're going to see Spock's feet like constantly. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's T-Swift. So, yeah. And her first star... Oh, my God, anyway, so cats. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why aren't they real people? Is yeah. that, that was all CG. I looked yeah, like I was yeah. watching the weirdest cartoon, sexiest movie yeah. I've ever seen. Like, I feel like they were all wearing, like, those, like, suits. The ball suits, the ball totally. Suits, and then they were getting... But, like, the weirdest one was... Because some of them looked all right. But then... Some of the movement and stuff, I was like, but didn't it seem sexy? No. Well, it was, yeah, I was like, I'm Woo. weirded out by the whole thing. That is totally, but what's her name, Wilson? Jennifer, uh, I don't know, Jennifer, H- oh yeah, Rebel Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Hudson, though, like it looks like they just like CG like a yeah. part of her just regular face onto the cat instead of like mixing it. And I'm just like, I don't know, it looks like a fucking nightmare. She probably was like, I'll be in your movie if you don't make me look like a cat. Yeah. The movie's like, called Jason, Cats. Jason Derulo's character looked pretty good. The moment, there's this big, awesome joke in... Kimmy Schmidt. Yes. Well, where Titus dresses up as a cat, yeah. goes to watch the musical Cats, and when the cats go into the audience, he gets out of his seat, mixes in, and sneaks backstage nice. to become part of the cast. And the joke is that the, the one main cat comes up to him and he's like, you think you're the only person that snuck up on stage to be into cats? <laughs> and then and it is like most of the lines are just like nonsense. Like yes. you just make up a nonsense line, like I'm Fipsy Kit. Dean, I like to purr. You yeah. know what I mean? It was like, oh my God. And the moment I didn't see Titus in the preview, yeah. I was like, I'm checked out. Yeah. You know, checked out. You got to be in the Jellicoe way, baby. I don't know why. I think that the doing that all CG was really weird. Yeah. And I don't like it. Yeah. I, I think like the makeup would have been more interesting. It sounds like they did the thing from uh, Les Mis, which would make sense because it's the same director where they sing live. Right. And the, Jennifer Hudson, as good a singer she was, it didn't sound that good. Right. Like, that was... Uh, Tosh made that joke one time. Uh, he was doing the spoiler alert for Les Mis, and then he was like, people always say to me, can you believe... He sang the entire review. It's like, people always say to me, can you believe they were actually singing? He's like, yeah, I could fucking believe it, because it wasn't that good. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time I've seen the movie... Oh, uh, yeah, because I remember... Russell Crowe is like, prisoner 24601, I go to... And you're just like, oh, my God. God. Yeah, like their character singing. I remember seeing Hugh Jackman, and he was saying, because he's in that, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah, he, and he can was, sing. he can, damn right he can sing. But you got to do it there live. Yeah, that was the end, because they sang live for that one. They didn't sing, like, they didn't record the tracks ahead of time. And, like, uh, who, like, um, I wanted to say Anna Kendrick, but that's not right. What's her face? Fucking giant star. I can't, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, like, she sings really well, and. Uh, yeah, like, but it was just, some of it was just so weird, but it was very obvious that it wasn't like a produced thing. It was just right. them singing live. And I was like, but then also then that means you're editing together multiple singing, like multiple bits of singing. I don't know like, why they would have done it like that. I don't know. I think they wanted to do it to be special and then everybody was talking about it. So now he's doing it again because they did it last time and it got attention. Right. But I was like, uh, like. How can I, you do it live if you're in a CG movie? Well, again, they can it really be? Oh, like, well, they, well, you had the balls and you sang. Oh, my God, their meal's getting away. Yeah. I but called I, that one. But I think that, like, that must take you really out of it. Because, like, at least, like, when you're in the suit in Cats and stuff and you're amongst all the other cats, like, you're in a place while you're singing. Whereas this thing, you're just like, look at the person in, like, grow spandex. <laughs> like, it's just. <laughs> yeah. Staring at the tennis ball. Yeah. Well, that's what acting's all about. Mm-hmm. But yeah, fucking cats. Man. Okay, so so we've got T Swift. Who plays Buddy? Uh, Who plays the main Gelfling? In the right age, I would say Orlando Bloom. It's not bad. He's got the complexion. That's not bad at all, actually. Thank you. Okay, so you could, yeah, I guess, go into the elf realm. Yeah. Who, who could play an elf could play these guys. Yeah. Because, like, I, again, like, it's all about age because he's con- like older now. And Maybe the like girl Gelfling, like- L Fanning. All right, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, the All new right. one, the new fanning, yes. the new fanning on the scene. Yeah, the one, the one that didn't get weird like Dakota. Because oh, she will. Fucking... She get there. Well, Dakota, no, Dakota, Dakota was too big of a star too fast. That was the problem. But then she like appeared in other things. Like she was in the Twilight movies, and it was just kind of like whatever. And... Right. Who plays her? Agra. Uh, <laughs> First instinct, Wanda Sykes. That's not bad, Kathy. Uh, I was gonna say Kathy Najimy. <laughs> but no, I, I meant yeah. uh, Melissa McCarthy. Full makeup. She'd be good. Yeah. She's doing a lot of drama now. She's doing that. Uh, She's good. The Hell's Kitchen. Like, uh, like It's like a really Bob serious drama. cooking show. Yeah. <laughs> She's copping a squat. <laughs> She's just like, good. I'm yeah. like, are you guys eating? I'm going to take a shit right on your fucking table. 
And then you know that one with the really ritzy yeah. like poker would just yeah. eat at. Yeah, that's that's bridesmaids McCarthy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pretty close. Well, they got somebody, no, bud. Like, Jesus, how do you have somebody you think these bugs are? That looks like something out of heavy metal or something, or some old yeah. Lo- Lord of the Rings uh, pick. Yeah. Look at this. Should, that's a question. We've done all the Lord of the Rings movies. Should we do the Ralph Bakshi? Lord oh, of the my Rings? God, yes. I have it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. No, I think I got 10 minutes in or something. Yeah. No, no, I watched the whole thing. We watched, I remember watching the whole thing when we were in, it was around the time when we were doing, reading, like, it was like independent study and somebody was reading Lord of the Rings. So we got Lord of the Rings and we were watching it and we we're like, this thing looks like a fucking crazy <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> Evan Rachel Wood. Oh, that's a good pick. Again, like, I'm I'm just, my, my concern has been age, but if we can kind of just pick any age and just like, yeah. plug them in, then, yeah, yeah, sure. then let's say, yeah, let's Orlando say. Orlando Bloom, I think, is perfect, but he's got to yeah. be, well, we can digitally de-age him. Well, I mean, he in has the stage, that, come on. Like, picture, like, most of his looks from uh, oh, Lord of the Rings. They're all Gelfling looks. Just oh, like, totally. Where yeah. am I going? I did love where that scene. He needs to have more of those. Yeah. Is this what I'm supposed to talk to? Is this rock agra? <laughs> Are you Am agra? I agra? That'd be Where the best going? Th- this movie's a trilogy, and that was the first of <laughs> yeah, the whole the entire <laughs> movie. What is He's this? Like, it, don't it's, stop playing. It's like that scene from uh, The Simpsons when it was Rodney Dangerfield. I was like, I've never seen a place with a walk in mailbox. <laughs> hey, who am I talking to? Yeah. Who am I talking to? I love that. Nice shot, lady. Yeah. Looks like some dirty old hair thing flying yeah. around. Yeah. It's all part of nature, baby. <laughs> oh, a crystal bat. Ooh. Ooh. So I guess then, uh, yeah. I like now this. See right he finally meets another Gelfling, and then he's like, wow, you're so much better at being a Gelfling than me. You know all the other shit. <laughs> like, I know. It's like, I've been coddled by all these By the, those wrinkle bags. Yeah, they were fucking, look at this dirty squealer. That's like being, like, brought up in the Vatican, and it's like, you know, we, he's like, I've got a lot of secrets, but I didn't learn a lot of anything. <laughs> I guess, uh... The Secrets of the Vatican. Yeah. The new, the new Da Vinci Code. What's yes. his name? Dan Brown. Dan Brown. Get on it. Dan Brown. Dan, is he still alive? Yeah, I think so. I don't see why he'd be dead. Oh, that guy looks fuzzy. Yeah, fizz gig, baby. He was actually, they brought him in because they basically, uh, he, he's kind of like an offshoot of, uh, what's the the dog from uh, the Muppets? It's like, uh, Rolf. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Miss Piggy's like like little lap dog. Oh yes! Had. Oh my God, are those oh, like? Oh hey, come on! Those are like Fraggles with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> we're we're underground. No, you're not. Oh, this reminds me of one of those ones. Um, they were the potato people yes, or that's something. Exactly what I was gonna say. The or like people. sometimes back in the day, like your grandparents would have these weird. It, like it looked like them, and it was like we're like just stand ups, yeah. yeah, like weird. And I was like, "What the fuck is this thing?" Like, yeah, <laughs> these are these are the uh, oh. voodoo dolls of our enemies. That one hasn't slept in a month. <laughs> they look like they're good down home people, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. They look like they're dumb as stumps, but what does it matter? Look at they bring you to their home. This looks like it's Yoda's house, actually. Yes. They're house sitting for Yoda. No, 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 they're not house sitting. Yoda asked one of them to house sit. This is taking, this takes place. (laughs) What happens is this takes place before he comes, he goes to Dagobah. Because, like, he's still, like, as part of the council and stuff. So this was their house. He found this house after, like, it was abandoned. After they left. (laughs) They're all taken. Mm, I think that Yoda. What hole this is. (laughs) Mm, I kind of place. Good for bitches. Mm. (laughs) It'll just be his, like, side pad. Yeah. Yoda wife? Mean. Yeah. Yoda has many side pieces. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's his piece house. Yeah. Side chick house. Yeah. I picture, I want to have a spinoff of him and the other Yoda-like creature, Yaddle. Y- Yoda and Yaddle? Well, you see, the fir- you see Yaddle in, like, a shot of, like, episode one. And it's just another one. And it's like, oh, my God, I've never seen another one. And they created this gigantic backstory. And it was like Yoda was the one who was like, who like trained her and said she wasn't ready and stuff like this. So I just picture like he he was so excited to be the only one of his kind. And then she came along and he just was so resentful. And he's like such a dick. I'm sure you wouldn't be like, you just told her. He's like, oh, great. Now she's going to steal my thunder. Yeah. Instead of like, oh, my God, we can repopulate our race. I haven't banged something of my own species ever. Yeah. 
Do Yodas even care about that kind of thing? They, I feel no. like they reproduce with their mind. No, I feel like they don't even... I, I, I feel like they're, they're ab- just... They're above it. I feel like they just become... Yeah, that's like what I'm there, saying. Like, like they're not no... even asexual reproduction. They just... Because so the, they don't even break something off, they yeah. just mentally will another well, one. This is the, that's oh, where, that's how Mark Hamill gets into this uh, later on. <laughs> oh fuck! Look at really these guys. Cool Can you imagine things. walking around Comic Con with it? You never, you, you no. never get in there. No. Everybody yeah, would move out of the way. Yeah, but you I want to see door. Christopher Guest. <laughs> you got it, Bug Ving. <laughs> Why did Christopher Guest get invited to your version of Comic Con? I'm excited about that, but. Oh, I meant so. Christopher Lloyd, but cool. Okay. <laughs> He would be perfect at Comic Con. Yeah. He's too good for that kind of thing. I was looking you know, at, he ain't gonna show up for that. I was looking at Fan Expo, which is I think next weekend uh, in Toronto, and they've got uh, Jeff Goldblum's gonna be there. Whoa! And they've got a uh, they, they've got a uh, Saved by the Bell reunion. It's oh Mark Paul Gosler, Mario Lopez, and uh, Elizabeth Berkley are all gonna be there. They've got a Smallville reunion of uh, Tom Welling, Michael Rosenbaum, and Kristen Crook. Are going to be there. They've got a Blade Runner one, Rucker Hauer, oh, and no uh, Edward James Almost, oh, and cool. Sean Young are going to be there. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Of, like it's not. You got as, some good ones. It, it's not as like big as some of the ones they've had before. Oh, they they also have a, a Goonies reunion. They got Sean Astin, Corey Feldman, and Ki uh, Ki uh, Huang or whatever is however you pronounce. Oh my it God, Sean Astin is going to be there. Yeah. Oh my hey, God. Look up there, baby. I already did. I'm been there, so done that. jealous of that picture. Been there, done that, baby. That is fucking awesome. But fucking yeah. love you, Sean Astin. That's cool. Sean baby. Astin can play this gelfling. No makeup needed. Hey, I'm a gelfling. <laughs> I'd believe him. I don't know why. Like, it doesn't sound anything like him, but at the same time, it felt like the perfect impression <laughs> of him. <laughs> hey, it's cool. I'm a gelfling. That's it. That's probably All exactly right. what he sounds like. Hey, I'm doing great. Oh, they, don't, they the, don't know. I was in the Goonies. Those dudes were not, uh, they still think that Scarcity's there is like running them. Yeah. Because he was like, don't hit me. Please. They didn't get the memo. <laughs> they probably showed it to them. They got them all together. They're like, hey, don't attack him. And in their head, they're like, you guys all look exactly the same, just like us. I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to, I'm just to be safe. I'm yeah, gonna I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Skeksis. I like, I feel like those ears were like probably as cheaply put together as I think they are. They just had like, like pieces of bologna that they spray painted and folded up and jammed in the sides. Does look like a good taco holder. <laughs> Uh, we've talked about it before on here, but just because it's puppets, uh, it just reminds me so much of uh, when we saw that uh, marionette play, Street of Blood. Oh, man, that play was or awesome. Whatever happened yeah. to that dude? Ronnie uh, Burkett? Yeah, he is. I think he's still around. That play uh, kicked ass. But yeah, he had done uh, like some pretty uh, innovative stuff with uh, marionettes, but then he did. We went to a play of his when we were in high school. I can't believe her teacher let us go see this play. I know, and it was like, it was basically like a darker version of Rent. Like, AIDS was rampant. It was like that. Yeah, yeah the it little was, boy was raped by a vampire yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And like, holy God, it's <laughs> so, true. Yeah, but it was still, I don't recall there being a vampire. Yes, there uh, was totally vampires. The vampire chick uh, was after him. And then there was the scene uh, where the doll turns around and all over his ass there's just uh, blood. I, I don't oh, yeah, that, man. No. And there was but all those was, little fetuses and the bubbles floating around the room. Yeah. It was crazy. But all I remember is, like, just the fact that he did, like, 20 characters by himself. Yeah. And you'd see him, like, you could see him performing up there. I, I couldn't take my eyes off him at some point. He, it was, he'd, like, be running back and forth to, like, the different he, characters. It was, it was, okay, so if you're sitting in the audience and you're looking towards the stage, there was three boxes, three big boxes yeah. And behind those boxes was a big cage where you could see all the characters that were going to be in the play hanging. Yeah. And each box could be like opened up, flipped around, and yeah. he would stand on top of the box. And when the next scene, he'd jump over to the next box, jump back to that one. He was doing two characters, three characters at the same time. Yeah. It was fucking unbelievable. He had won some awards. You can Google that. I'll, I'll put it up on the, I'll put it up on our Facebook uh, and just so you can like get a sense of it, but there are uh, there's some video on it. I wonder like if, if he's come up with a more. I'd love to go see if he had a new one out because that this guy should be yeah. talked about more. That play yeah. rocked my world. Now let's keep in mind it's been like well, you know twenty years since then. But uh, or if you can find it on tape, if anybody taped it, if it's out there I on a. Uh, you know, sometimes you can find the tapes of these yeah. live shows, right? Yeah. That was a long time ago, and it wasn't like a giant thing. So I think that that would be a hard, that would be a hard ask to try and find that. Right. It's not that it's impossible, but 
Uh, maybe if you went to the theater, it was at an ass. Maybe exactly. maybe they had an archive. I just have to go to the thing. old spaghetti factory and find out which what, like, <laughs> the which old the spaghetti. Is. No, I think it was Buddies and Good Times or whatever, wasn't it? I, or, don't, uh, I don't remember. But we did a spaghetti factory. Yeah. What a fucking that was the worst chicken parm I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it was upsetting. It's like some for two rich guys, guy chicken parm. For two guys who worked at a place that made like amazing chicken yeah. parm, that was not. Yeah, that wasn't acceptable. Oh man, those poutines are so good. All that different gravy. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. So so yeah, we were talking about the budget earlier, fifteen million dollars. I actually had a hard time believing that this made any money, knowing that budget. I was kind of like, oh no, uh, it made forty one point six <laughs> oh. million dollars. It made a lot of money. That's a win um, in my book. It was number sixteen overall for the year. Wow. Um, and it was number it was the number one movie of nineteen eighty three in France and Japan. Uh, and it, so it opened number three behind Tootsie and the toy. E.T. was still out there too. It was like 28 weeks in and it was still in the top five. Right. Uh, so it had a hard time. It jumped down to number five, week two, jumped up to number two, week three. And literally for a while, like for the first like six weeks, it just jumped around the top five. And then it started to go, and then it started to go away, but it stayed in the top 10 for a while. Like, what was crazy though, it was, and I mean, like, look at this one for yourself, just because I didn't write any of it down, but the, uh, I was going, no, I was going through, no, it's not like a joke. I was, uh, no, I just like, I didn't write it down. Mm -hmm. Anyways, okay. Oh, it just occurred to me that we were actually playing the audio from this, which is fucking up. Uh oh. (laughs) Whoops. Whoopsie. So we apologize for that, uh, for the first hour of having that audio. Uh, so you got to hear that part of the movie with It's us. not the first time that we've done that in one of these movies, so it's okay. But the, um, <laughs> it's not okay. It's actually like, it's like illegal, but it's fine. I know I was going to say it. I know, but, uh, forget just, uh, we didn't do the whole thing. Better to ask forgiveness than permission. I That's right. Say. Um, but <laughs> especially with sex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, anyways, is what was going on was the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, like every week that the movie was out for like the first like eight weeks, except the, the week that the actual week that it came out, nothing new came out. Like Shit. there were no, they, right. there were just no like I I'd watch I'm like oh because that's one of the interesting things I like to do when I go through it's like oh then it dropped to number four when like this awesome movie came out and took over the number one spot nope nothing new came out it was the same movies just moving spots <clears throat> and then the next week nothing new came out and I went like five weeks in and I'm like okay I'm not getting it I'm just gonna say it jumped all over the list because nothing new came out right. I was like, I don't even know. Like, that's not even possible. Like, every week now, like, three new domestic, at least three new domestic movies of note come out. Oh, if only they would have come out, like, two weeks before. Well, they still made a lot of money to mm-hmm. me for a $50 million well, it's, dollar it's movie. A lot. Well, I mean, movies weren't regularly making $150 million. No, they were not. Back then, right? So. She's calling the woo. Oh, the, I, yeah. I thought she was doing the um, the Kardashian. The, oh, cr- <laughs> or the, uh, the Cardi B or Cardi B. Look at these guys. Oh, wait, he, he, I forgot about these dudes. Yeah. Looks like a bunny rabbit that's also an ATAT. Fucking right, it does actually. Some <laughs> weird moth wings. It's yeah. like it's like it had an awful evolutionary process. It's yeah. like, what am I? Oh god. I'm part cricket, part rabbit, and part robot. Yeah, like holy god, he looks like that thing in night shift. <laughs> like that half rat, half fucking bat thing. Yeah. So who who's gonna place the scarcities there? The Skeksis, I don't know because they all look exactly the same and they don't have any kind of like I to me, I feel like even in a live action version, they would still be puppets or CG or something. No, there'd be a guy under the thing. OK, there'd then, be mask. Then every single one of them is Andy Circus, And then every single one of the other guys is got to be somebody I like all that. No, OK. Every like single one of them is Andy Circus of the Skeksis, the Skeksis, except for Buddy, the main guy we see. Yeah. He will be played by Benicio Del Toro. Yeah. <laughs> What are those? Oh my god! <laughs> I love like, this guy, does he eh? chew with those back teeth too? It's just in case. Yeah, because probably he's probably sloppy eater, so he just takes big chunks. Yeah, but you know, through time, like he's choking a lot, so then he got some back teeth. <laughs> that was Boop. the laziest thing I ever saw. Come up here, and somebody just like threw a rag yeah. up at him. Off we go! Yeah. It is a racing snail. Yeah, they move very weirdly. Of course, they don't know what they are. They um, it's really cool because they have. 
uh, if you go to Animal Kingdom, I think they're still there at Disney. Uh, they have these things that are dressed like they they move around like that, but they're all dressed up like trees and they sit in the trees and they're people. And then all of a sudden they'll like slowly come out and start walking around and then just go back into the trees. Cool. And stuff like that. I got a picture somewhere of one of them. And it's, Imagine that's your job to like yeah. every sit totally still all day and every now and then like kind of move so the yeah. people can see you. Well, I've been watching uh, was American Ninja Warrior, and one of the guys in American Ninja Warrior is one of the raptors from the uh, Jurassic World experience. Oh no way! I want to go see that so bad. I I really I want to go to Universal much more than Disney. Uh, see, I don't. <clears throat> the stuff at it's, Universal's got me, man. See, two reasons. I I want to see the Harry Potter stuff a ton, but it costs extra. That sucks. Like you, you have to pay to get in the park. That and then pay is to get in. fucking lame. Star Wars Land, you don't. I know it's busier there and it's crazier there right now, but you don't have to like pay more money. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not even just raise the ticket price up a little bit then? Yeah. Why you make a separate? That's like when you went to a concert at Wonderland. Yeah. You'd have to pay for the ticket to get in because you had to walk through the park and then another. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you couldn't just go see the concert with the concert ticket. You had to buy a pat like the park yeah. day. Yeah, they should have just had a separate. Oh, it's just getting free. These poor bastards. Yeah. This movie is fucking terrifying. It really is. Oh, my God. Like, I feel like some of these, and I don't know if it's budgetary or whatever, but, like, these guys and and stuff like that, it's, like, much lazier. um, Oh, the little dudes here? It's much lazier puppet making than I'm used to from them. You think it's lazy? I These think it guys. was a stylist. Yeah, I think it was a stylistic choice. I think they were supposed uh, to look a little. I don't know. I feel like they just were like, we're putting our money into the important ones. And then the other ones we're just going to make like they're going to have a thing, but they're not going to have a lot of moving parts. Just look at this. Yeah. Sucking the. Oh, my Lord. Uh, just so I can make my community uh, <laughs> reference. <laughs> that reminds me a lot of the uh, it was like the Brazilian or Colombian, like, uh, gremlins rip off. Right. And every time, like, it's like you expose them to a rainbow and they become bad. And then, like, that beam would go over their face. Right. And then it would be like, but, like, the rules that they made for them are, like, bad. It's like, if you, uh, if you spill, if you, if they're exposed to rainbows, they become happy. But if you spill salt on them, they become angrier than before. And, like, all these, like, just, like, bananas things. If you were Buddy there, I would have taken a little snort of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck it. You don't know. Oh, we're getting, oh, yeah. oh. It'd be the best. Oh, oh, that's reverse. Uh, oh, 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 oh Ninja, looking American good, bro. Werewolf in London. It'd be the best <clears> if he became, like, Matt Damon. Like, they, they just age his back. It just goes right to Matt Damon. Yeah. He's going to go find the ladies now. He's like, I'm hitting the club tonight, boys. <laughs> Woo, Yeah. He has a peek down the front of his thing. He's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. Jeez, you're going to need a steady supply of that, buddy. That did not last Every long. two minutes, you have to go to the bathroom and slurp that down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this isn't helping, bud. No. Okay? Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you destroy all my yeah, materials, I'm definitely not going to be able to accomplish yeah, gonna... what you Now I need you to do it faster. Like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, you just, you just broke everything. Yeah. Oh, Agra sees all. <laughs> well, sees like half of all. Yeah. Well, she's got the top one there. Yeah, but then it's not looking. Looks at like it's, I know it looks like she went blind in her third eye a long time ago. <sighs> like, I want to know the motivation <laughs> for the design of like a character like that. Like, do right. they just want to do like, do, do they want to do something so stylistic and weird. And they're like, oh, well, we could. And then maybe they saw people doing like stealth walking and they're like, oh, we could do something like that. Or like, was it some form of necessity because they're like, oh, it would be easier for us to put like a like a full scale puppet just on top of it. Or I believe that the reason was because okay. of this right here. Because uh-huh. they would be, those legs are for fighting these guys off. They probably live in the swamp or something, so they're in the water. Yeah. And look, and they can do this to these guys. Yeah. But they could have actually, now that you just said the swamp thing too, I wasn't even thinking about that. They may have actually just done a little bit of scientific thinking. Like, right. What kind of thing can survive Where here? they lived, and That's they like, could fill long legs to fight <laughs> these guys off. That's like, the, um, I, did we ever talk about the future is wild? I don't think so. It was a series, a really interesting series. I was, I think it was made by the same people who did Walking with Dinosaurs. Mm. And basically the idea of it was they got a bunch of like futurists together and paleo, like that you're paleontologists, biologists and things like that. And they were like, what would the world be like 
150 years from now or like 50 million years from now 150 years from now and 250 million years from now like assuming that 50 years from now humans are gone what evolves from what exists Hmm. and moves forward and stuff and then they can't just like make up like weird creatures with no backup they had to back up yeah if it lived here this zone that you know what kind of body would it have what kind of she just got her two friends murdered yeah so like they had like oct- like different like two different species of octopus that lived on land. One lived in the trees and like swung around like monkeys, and they were like and they sat there and they're like, all beings came from the sea, the, came from the sea, and like all this sort of thing, right? And he's like, so they just start with that's not unreasonable to think that the thing that would come out because he's like everything dies on the earth because of the heat right. or something like that and then this thing that can survive in like this kind of swamp like condition can come out and then like uh adapt you know and then they well and then it adopted all uh, adapted in another way where it was like it lived in like the wetlands kind of thing right. so it was still in the water but not like but like on it type thing and then they were showing like it was and they'd give them all these behaviors like oh it does this like color change thing to like show it's a threat and the octopus an octopus can already do that right so, yeah, yeah the pigment change and all yeah. that yeah so like they were showing like that kind of stuff and then they had like these giant things like they had like how tortoises become like these gigantic like almost elephant sized creatures but like the shell went away and it became like like this kind of like scaly protection on them and stuff like that but it was cool because if you just if they just said yeah like tortoises would be like 50 feet tall and all this and then you'd be just like oh they just made yeah a with bunch no of backup of a why but, it was and how it evolved but and they all were this sitting there oh here they're, oh, they're still coming yeah exactly we're almost there no we're not <laughs> so just uh, over this mountain range there's another mountain yeah. region after the next one we're there yeah. and then everybody goes hey want to have a hum about it like i picture like <laughs> cutting to those shots um cutting to those shots would be like uh like the ends like the their travel, their their travails to uh, Isengard. Isengard. Uh, yeah. Ooh, well done. Uh, but yeah, the uh, like it's just them walking. It's just like, oh my god, this was slower than your conversation <laughs> about coming here. <laughs> Jesus. I like you. We missed it. Well, <laughs> like like they they fall off the cliff. Well, first she got her buds killed. Yeah. That she called to help her. They yeah. died horribly. Yeah. And then yeah. they no fall. Guilt either, and you, yeah, she didn't give a fuck. And. Uh, she has wings. Yeah. And then he's like, I don't have wings. And she's like, yeah. yes, you do idiot. And then picks his wings up. Yeah. No, that didn't happen. He doesn't have wings, <laughs> but that would be cool if he did. Yeah. That'd be, Oh my God. I was wondering, I thought that was just dead skin. Yeah. <laughs> Could <laughs> never get rid of it. Yeah. Those oh, little fuck. things that are like running around everywhere. Um, yeah, but yeah, those little things that were running around everywhere, they were like those little wind-up doll things, and they just put like a new top on them, so they're like running around and flopping. That's oh, how... is, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh. How the hell did he get back in? They never changed the code or the lock or nothing. Yeah, exactly. It's really... always one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did the eyes there, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to do Holy it. Holy fuck, buddy. Uh-oh, see, blood. Oh. Oh. Oh shit! Yep. There's connections. There is certainly all, is. Like the Corsican brothers. Yep. Oh, that makes even more sense. I forgot about that beat, and then that makes a million times more sense why the two of them died at the same That's time. That's right. And, Jesus. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I, I wasn't aware I was going to be too slow for a Muppet movie today. But, <laughs> hey, this is a Muppet movie for adults. Yeah, but I am. And I'm not talking that dirty one with yeah, all the sex. But I am in like. Next level amounts of pain. And I'm, I'm not you're super you're focused. trooping hard. You're <laughs> trooping tonight, man. I just don't want to be like such a wuss about. I feel so such bad. Such a I, wuss. I've, I'm you, little, you have no arm. Well, yeah, that's true. But my uh, like my sister right now is like the most pregnant person alive. And yeah, like, she's, she's a human being kicking to get yeah, out. She, yeah, he's he's only six years younger than her inside. But um, <laughs> and she, it's a girl. But uh, the. Oh, there is a chick. Yeah. Oh, oh there's oh, a girl. Oh, ah, I didn't see no girl before. Well, now oh, that he's young, you call the ladies over, right? Yeah, exactly. Groupies. He's a kind of... I love uh-huh. the swagger that they gave to that one, man. He's just like, huh? Huh? So you ain't huh? give fuck. Yeah. It's like Drake oh plays that one. Oh, my God. Somebody one. shut go. her up. That's who plays that skeks. He's just Drake. Drake. He's got the swagger. <laughs> Such an ugly monster. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. Here we go. Man, it must be so hard to move around in these things, eh? That's where you get paid the big bucks. The Jim Henson yeah. 15 million a movie bucks. Yes. So I think The Rock makes that just to promote a movie now. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's like, what? His, eye, his eyes were crossed. <laughs> Is that Frank Oz? Um, I don't it sounds know. very much like Gonzo almost if Gonzo was freaking. I don't know. Let's look it up because I don't I don't even recall seeing them in the cast list. Well, I recall seeing Jim Henson in the cast list, but not Frank Oz. Um True that, bro. He's the one who brought her in. Ooh. That's a uh Oh, well, there is a prophecy. God, prophecies <laughs> always suck. I know. Oh, it's I always like the worst. Yoda's going to come in and ruin this movie. He just peeks his head in the corner. A prophecy that Miss Red could have been. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that to me, that was, the, I mean, things made me mad about the prequels, but nothing made me angrier than that line in the prequels. He's like, well, isn't uh, Anakin supposed to bring balance to the force? And then, uh, th- um, Fucking Sam Jackson, like, so the prophecy says, and then Yoda goes, a prophecy that Miss Red could have been. I'm like, did we just literally go through all three of these movies so you could say that, oh, we just, yeah, there was, yeah. No, there was no real prophecy. We were just, we fucked up from the beginning. Which he knew. Yes. And did nothing. Yeah. Thanks oh, for oh nothing. is that her? And, is that his fingers? Yeah. Oh, look at this. He just sits there waiting to die oh, with you. Oh, Frank Oz is Agra. Oh, Frankie, Frankie. Yeah. Just Agra? So, yeah. Um, oh, and Chamberlain. The, uh, was the he is. That's the main yeah. one. Yeah. And then Jim Henson is uh, Jen, the, uh, another Gelfling. Uh, the main uh, the Gelfling. yeah. And uh, the high priest and a ritual master. Mm. So probably one of the other ones, I guess. The old ritual uh, master. Catherine Mullen is Kira, the other Gelfling. Um... What else? Uh, David Gels is uh, Fizzgig, um, and then the General Gartham. I don't know which. There's actually a person who does Fizzgig. It's not just like it sounds yeah. like just an animal morph. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they did with the T Rex oh, or whatever. The, he's the this. Performer. See this shot? This is from the. This is like when I ate that plastic bottle. <laughs> Hole. <laughs> Oh, yeah, still, here it comes. What a night. Still Whoa. floating around in there. Oh, if only God. this was the 3D movie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Oh, yeah. here comes that sound. It's a real laser sound. The treasurer is played by uh, Tim Rose, who was um, uh, Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, Kieran Shaw, who we've talked about in a few things. He was in, uh, he did like a stunt performer thing in Aliens, and he was also the body double for one of the uh, hobbits in the Lord of the Rings movies. He's on here's additional performer, meaning he's probably one of the, like the running running from far away kind of people uh there's a bunch of uh, little people who are amongst that group um the voices uh steven garlic did the voice of jen i don't know who that is but a great name um lisa maxwell did the voice of kira oh agra is another voice like all these voices well none of them were um like frank oz isn't the voice of any of them yeah yeah they, they were literally just the performers they just worked on the that. movie well, it's weird to have they, such a voice guy, the, right? Yeah, they were the puppet performers, but not the voices. Yeah. I think they probably didn't want voices that would be recognized. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Because you know dude, you know him, right? Frank Oz sounds like, like once you put together, oh, Frank Oz did uh, Yoda, Grover, and this piggy or, and uh, animal. You're like, oh, they all sound exactly the exactly. same. Exactly, yep. About yep. Well, look at this guy. I like, uh, look at how long it took the other guy uh-huh. moments yeah to have his essence sucked out of him yeah well he was tiny maybe that is it maybe <laughs> gelflings have a little bit more because like she is really getting yeah. the suck the suck yeah. job here yeah yeah, Pro- I yeah yell at them all yeah that'll do it i wonder if it feels kind of good oh probably it's like the relief of when you're taking like like you know you've got like bad stomach flu but then when you're like it's all getting out of your system you're just kind of like this is horrible but at the same time oh it's feeling kind of relief hurts so good come yeah. on baby let it <laughs> no yeah, oh there he goes hit the old trap door there just a thought maybe don't make such a large trap door that you could accidentally fall through well that's you know he's, that's for kid oh what they know shit's going down now. They all, they're all they all gaslighting. They're like, oh, there was only this many of us from the beginning, right? <laughs> yeah, they seem to understand the goings-on more. They seem to be cool with it all, you know? They just, 
We're just yeah. like, oh, he's, he's gone now. I just pictured a line. He looks back and the one's gone. He's like, does that mean we're winning? And the one's like, nope, still time. <laughs> and I just go. Oh, fuck. It's oh, happening. Oh, you don't oh, want that. Oh, shit. She's all frazzled. Look at her. She's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, she looks, you know who she looks like? She kind of looks like Anna Ferris from the beginning of Mom. <laughs> like when she's all like drugged Just all out. disheveled. I fear to death. Yeah. Wow. What the hell is this place? This looks like where Supergirl came from. Oh, jeez. Well, you look- still got quite the ways here, boys. <sighs> you're going to have to postpone this whole thing. <laughs> I hope we're not all dead by the time we get there. <laughs> Somebody should at least get to the damn crystal. That would have been the best. They all go except the one. And he's like, we could have stayed at home and done this. <laughs> and disappeared. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, like, shut the hell up. We're trying to sneak into a place here. That's like my goddamn dog. Hey. Oh, like helping Hoggle. hands. This is where he's going to find Hoggle. With the magical It'd door. Amazing. It'd be amazing if just one thing came in there that then suggested to you that maybe this is an older version of the same world or right. something like that. Not that I don't even think they were planning. No, but that would be kind of neat, yeah. Time, but, like... I hope that when this show comes back out on Netflix, oh fuck! I hope when it comes on Netflix, there's a, a resurgence in like the puppet arts. Yeah, that it get, you know they get a lot of views. Well, but let's be realistic. It's not like the like the puppet arts was never Whoa. really a thing. It was just always the Muppets, right? Who have always been doing something or other. Now there's other puppets in movies. Yeah, but it's not very like like really. If we go back, what like who are we thinking? Like Team America. No, I just meant like all the other, you know, like Labyrinth and, you yeah, know, but those like. Are, but that's uh, what I'm saying is those are the Henson Company again. Yeah, you know, like Legend and. Yeah, I don't know if that was the Henson Company, but I feel like. No, but I'm just saying like, yeah. you know, movies that have. Yeah. Just crazy makeup and crazy yeah. fucking. Well, I mean, I would like to see that a little bit more of that for Star Wars and stuff like that, too, is have a bit of like some more of those. Oh, so they did a pretty decent job with uh, like Force Awakens had some. Apparently, the last shot of the new Star Wars movie is going to yeah. blow your fucking mind. Nice. Whatever it is. <laughs> whatever, I don't know. What, obviously, they didn't say what it was. Me, but they're like, Joe yep, is going to yep. shit You kittens. spend so much money at Disney that they know you. Yeah. They're like, this guy actually funded up. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. It was funded on my... It was like, it was financed by my tears. <laughs> Jesus. That is uh, mostly how uh, Mr. Disney made his money anyway. So yeah. that was, I can tell you the it's first the words. Tears I said of the innocent. Me. Yeah. The first words I said to Carrie while watching out, shut up. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> was, There's no time for me to, to be alive. Yeah. Where is Kira? Uh, over there. Is that Kira? You could have said like. Yeah. Well, no, it's, she sounds like she's got a rough voice. I'm taking this. <laughs> no, I nope. don't want this. <laughs> Almost at the entrance. They're getting there. These guys aren't going to stop them or what? Oh, yeah. No, oh, just... oh, oh, oh. The no. Mo- the movements are like nightmarish, too. Yeah, right? exactly. They're terrifying. They, it's... It's almost like Broadway nonsense, but at the same time, it's scary. Broadway nonsense. I like, like that like, term, actually. I get it, like, totally. <laughs> it's like something that the, uh, oh, the brown note, they just shit themselves. Yeah, that's why like, they're embarrassed. <laughs> See, they put their head down, they're like, oh, I just oh. shit myself in front of the opposition. Oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my upper hand. Yeah. Oh, because they know deep down they're the, they're the same. There it goes again. God, that must have been like a cheap little thing. They probably sent like, they bought probably like 30 of those little guys and just wound them up. Whoever made them that must have been like, today's the day. Somebody bought 30 of them. Yeah. I told you this <laughs> operation was going to fly, baby. <laughs> He's like, this means it's time to go really big. We're going to build 1 million of them. We'll have to mortgage our house and all yeah. this kind of stuff. But, and then no, not another one got bought. Yeah, exactly. Because the clearly they're like, clearly we're on the up. Like, look at this. Yeah. I like the theme. Da, na, na. <laughs> It is. Oh, it's so different and weird. You know what this reminds me of? Not like the movie itself, but just that the style is so different from anything else you'd seen of it, of its type is The Secret of Nim. Yes. So That's it, a good comparison, actually. Because like The Secret of Nim, you're used to watching like, like and in Secret of Nim, you're like thinking of mice and stuff like that. So maybe it's comparison is American Tale or something like that. Right. It's like, oh, those are two very different things. Secret of Nim is awesome. I haven't seen that good. movie in years yeah. and years. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I think I, was, I wasn't I was even out of high school the last time I saw it. 
Oh yeah, she still looks fucked, eh? Yeah. Well, it takes. I wonder if you can get your essence back, or Uh are you fucked now for life? Like, are you all fucked up? I think you just have to kind of like rub up against the crystal, like kind of like E style for a little bit, like like not even necessarily sexually, just in a way where you're like rubbing your back against it and just going like a bear scratching. Yeah. You know, get that, get your scratch on, girl. Jeez, it broke his little ankle. You know, it's dumb to say. I think that the, those human moments kind of take away from a lot of the moments there. I think it would have been just as good for just to drop see the him up at, for him. To, well, no, not even drop them up at, and then just don't have the long shot. Have the close up of him just going just down. Jump. Or no, well, he jumps off and then lands. Yeah, yeah, and then just, the classic. Uh, you know, I, I'm uh, I'm not actually going to jump that far and land. So that's yeah. what you fucking do. Yeah. Rather than oh, we're just going to hire somebody to like just jump down here and then we're just going to cut back to another shot. Netflix has a lot of shit coming out soon, man. Yeah. The Rock one, that's like a $200 million movie, apparently, they got with The yeah. Rock and Gal Gadot and, and Gadot. Dead, Deadpool. It's actually Gadot, believe it or not. Gadot. Yeah, everybody's been pronouncing it incorrectly. Even herself. Yes. No, she pronounces it Gadot. Oh, she's wrong. Yeah, probably. I always think the movie's going to be terrible. If a major studio didn't pick up a $200 million, did they make yeah. the $200 million movie not knowing that a student, like, they didn't have, like, I don't even get how that works. Uh, it's no, the studio, a studio produced it and then they, but then they sell it to a distributor. Right. In this case, Netflix is your distributor. That's all. Cause you think they would have already been locked in with Fox or somebody, right? Like, yeah, you would think. Okay, well, cause Disney. most people utilize their own distribution. Yeah. That's what makes me think it sucks. That's why Netflix got yeah. it. It's an interesting theory. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't disagree with the theory. I just. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Because at the same time, I could just see Netflix just wanting to throw money at a big project, right? Going, Which is what they us, said that they, yeah, they were not going to do. Yeah. They're like, we're going to spend our money smarter. Look at this. Like in the same sentence. They're like, look what I just bought. <laughs> That'd be the, the CEO is like, we're going to spend our money smarter. And then a guy comes in and he's just got like a giant, like he's got, he's dragging a gold car on a necklace. Yeah. And he's like, look, look what I did, guys. <laughs> and they're like, uh I think that Netflix has good TV shows. Yeah. I haven't really seen that one movie that was straight to them that I've been like, wow. Like the Coen Brothers movie was good. Yeah. It wasn't mind blowingly good. You know what I mean? Like I I haven't seen one movie that I was like, that's a fucking killer movie. Yeah. I think there's, I, I I think it's honestly a mistake for them to be doing what they're doing with the movies. Cause they also spend all that money on the Scorsese movie one too. Yeah, that one might be a good winner, though. It could be, but... But exactly right. But you know what they also could have done? Wait for that movie to come out, like, on home video, and then just buy it then. And then they they just have that movie. Well, somebody must have going to pick that one up. Come on, Pacino, De Niro, Scorsese, like... But that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, let Universal or whoever have it. And that's then, what I thought. And then just pick it up later. That's what I thought Netflix was more about, was yeah. that kind of thing. Because I get, I get making your own Netflix shows. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, then the movie started coming out. I was like, what? Like, yeah. well, and I think it's just smarter. Like, I mean, like realistically, how much money did it make? Did it cost them to make like Orange is the New Black and House of Cards and all these different things? Uh, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, this one like piece. Like, oh, what, fuck, bud. What was it? It's like, what's uh, the name of the one? Uh, Bright. Yes. Uh, like that costs like $150 million. It's like, well, oh, it we should worth? not have cost $150 million. And I, and I was like, was it worth it? Like for, hell no. For, and that, that's exactly what I'm getting at. It's just like, you know, you you could have made like twenty more shows like that. You could have like financed your uh, like Legend of Zelda thing right. at Game of Thrones level. Yeah, money like shit. For for that, and then you would have had like twenty times the amount of content. Like I don't know. To me, I would be more concerned making more content than have, like going for the one big score. Right. right. Well, sometimes I find them too. The content's a little bit too. Yeah. Like there's too many episodes. Like they could have yeah. got there. Well, and let's like think about. I I know it's going to be in its infancy, but Disney Plus. Yeah. Uh, they haven't announced a single Disney Plus movie, but they've announced like ten Disney Plus TV shows. Well, I'm sure they're going to get movies because they got oh. all that back catalog that they're yeah. going to have. No, no, right? but I'm saying like original content, like they're oh. like where they're like we're making this just for Disney Plus, is right? What I'm, about. I'm sure that that will be. Yeah, I I, I don't know how that's going to work. And but. if they have a straight to Disney Plus movie, can it go up for the Oscars? I, I think Disney's going to put do like they do normally do, put it on theater, and then yeah. after a bunch of months, they're going to put it on. Yeah, because I think that's smart, and I think that they have 
things that like are still drawing you like uh what's it called fucking uh like the uh, something that nobody's really talking about right now because of all the other stuff going on with the mandalorian yeah and stuff like that so i mean you've got like you've already got six shows i really want to see you haven't even launched the thing yet oh and it's gonna be they said seven dollars us a month It'll so I up. imagine, well, yeah, but it, it like prices like that don't go up for a long time, like in like a couple of years, at least. right? So, so uh, to be able to get and now and, and Netflix lost The Office and Friends. They never should have paid all that money for Friends, man. Yeah. If you're fucking watching Friends, you already have it on DVD. You're just too fucking lazy to put it in the fucking yeah. DVD player. Yeah. Fucking friends? Like, get yeah. the fuck, just go. They paid like $100 million but a year was, for friends. But it was one of the most popular things they had. On I know, but there. still, it's like, like get fucking over yeah. it, man. I know. HBO Max picked it up because oh, HBO, HBO Go is expanding to like a larger, more Netflixy type thing where it contains things that aren't. They made it. HBO? They, yeah. they just showed up to the party. A little bit late, maybe. Mm-hmm. Place is falling apart. They, you know what else they could have done? They could have just all killed themselves. True. That would have that would have yep. ended all this stuff abruptly. Yep, they could have, but that's not their they're not that's not their bag, baby. They say here's what we're gonna do. We're all, bag. Gonna, we're all gonna kill ourselves. The idea uh, is not for both of them to no yeah. longer exist, Joe. Well as you're gonna find out very, very soon. It, well good, because I literally don't remember it. Is it is it like a prophecy like the whole um uh Voldemort Harry Potter thing? Like not like neither can survive neither can die while the other survives. That's right. Something? Nothing will survive but Agra's yeah. nipples. By the way, I watched, uh, I rewatched um, Fantastic whole... Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Right. I just re- like, I saw it in theaters. Uh, my one regret was I had to poop during the movie and I missed a good <laughs> chunk. <laughs> so, which never happened. I just to me hold in the it. No, it was not that kind. It's like when we've had the episodes here where it's happened. It's like it's right. not gonna wait. I um, hate waiting now too. So well, I'm an adult. I gotta hold my shit in. No, but no, there was no, there was no version of that happening. But uh, so, but I was watching the movie. and I was like, I don't know how I felt about it. Whatever. I rewatched it this time. It was good. It was. It I want. I really like Harry Potter, so I'm. I still gotta see. I have to see them. So I don't I'm, know I'm how behind you, on a lot of them. I don't know how you would feel about the first one. I think if you like really allowed yourself to get into crimes of Grindelwald. Cause now you're starting to get the real story because fantastic beasts. You're like, how much, like, what are they going to do? Just chase around these monsters. And that's the whole idea. Oh, yeah, Cause they get but, out of the, but fantastic beasts is just your foot in. And they said by the end of it, like, like, uh, what's his face? Uh, who's playing newts, uh, newt scamander. Right. He's not even the main character anymore. No, no shit. It's, it's basically like a uh, Dumbledore and Grindelwald and like all these other characters who are like, he's just the bigger. intro. He's just yeah. using you. Okay. So check it out. It's the beam is hitting. Yeah. Fucking place falling apart. Yep. These guys are pissed to see the light blinded by the light. Uh Oh, the rising up. They they all put them in chokeholds. Yeah, this is what they've been saving their energy for. This monster for forehand really choke sure. out. She's nice. dead. Real stakes in this one, man. Oh, all the heroes died. Let's let's sing that um, Spice Girl song. When to become <laughs> one. I need some love like I never need love. You know what this actually reminds me of? Now let's go back to that Ralph Bakshi uh, Lord of the Rings. They're the Ring Wraiths. Yep. So like, this is their true form, Joe. Yes. I'm actually, they were split. You know what really makes me feel stupid? We were on a shot of this when I turned the thing on. Yeah. And you explained that to me. <laughs> so I'm having like, I'm, I'm hard on you sometimes when you forget things or like, or if you're not paying attention to something. And I just totally got my comeuppance in this one. Where I just, sure did. You're big enough man to admit it. Uh this is them. Yeah. Oh, but he almost it, gave like the but, per, fucking. Yeah. A. But the real question is: Is it going to make me change my behavior? Nope. No, nope, not one. God now. Um, <laughs> see, now my question is: yes. If this is their form, yeah. maybe they'll talk about this in the new Dark Crystal. They showed a Scarexes breaking yeah. the crystal, taking yes. the shard out. Yeah. So who, if this is their form, how did that happen? There's just a loose one. Yeah, maybe, if, maybe, I don't know. The odd man, the odd Skeksis out. It's like, yeah, so if they're like this, what had happened? Maybe yeah. he was a like a, an alchemist or something, and he had found out he could split himself, and then the evil half broke the crystal or some shit. That's actually really interesting. 
I wonder if they're going to talk about that. It must. They must because it is like they play. It takes place like hundreds of years. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't. It doesn't make like sense. Like how the hell? Where did this guy come from? If you're this guy? Yeah, I don't really care for the design of these guys. To be oh, honest, oh, they're weird looking. I don't think that they look enough like either of the other things. When you make when you take two things apart, man, you'd be surprised. Yeah. yeah. I Peanut see, butter and jelly, baby. Yeah. I suppose if you broke like a Lego spaceship and a Lego dump truck and then tried to put them both back together, you could have some fucked up results. <laughs> exactly. I, I understand. There's still Lego pieces in there, though. Uh-huh. Yes. He's got a weird mouth looking on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I can see the front of his mouth kind of being. I see bits. Like, yeah. And I see, like, He's got they... a big old mastermind head. Oh, actually, I just saw where, what his nose was. I thought was his mouth. And then he. It is. It. And then he tipped up, and then I saw the thing that looks like his mouth is his chin. Because my first thought was, "Oh, he's got a second mouth," and then oh. my second thought was, "Idiot!" They're gonna start doing like the the hand from uh, Bill and Ted, <laughs> like just the boy, yeah, boy. That would be amazing. And then they just go, "Wild stallions rule." <laughs> <laughs> so, and now they're going where? I don't know. Um, Maybe they had to. So the the prophecy fulfilled is them becoming their true forms and then fucking off. Yeah. Maybe the bad guys didn't like the idea of that. But you know what? That's a very religious iconography thing. That goes even all the way back to the elves in Lord of the Rings, too, where it's just like, okay, well, we've done our part. Now this this place is uh, this place is up to you. We're out of here. That reminds me of the disappearing castle and crawl. Yeah. Jen, a gelfling. Kira. A gelfling. That's weird. That like I keep like Agra, a keeper of secrets, physically a friendly monster. Like, why is it both things? You if know you're asking saying? questions when the movie's done, there, here's the answers. <laughs> yeah, these are literally. What is a high priest? He's a ritual master. Oh, uh, what exactly is? And he's also Jim Henson. So <laughs> stop giving me attitude. But there was Steve Whitmere in the uh, credits playing. Uh, the scientist or Ur- Urza, um, the master of dying. Sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, the dying master, not the master of dying. Although I guess it's technically the same thing, but anyway, Steve Whitmere, he's the one who appears at comic con and brings all the, uh, Muppets and stuff. So the friggin, uh, Audrey to that was garbage. Yeah. At comic con. Yeah. What the fuck am I looking at here? Yeah, I know. Right. I was like, did I make this? It looked like a, oh, it looked like the one that you like, we saw that I saw in like the high school play. No way. No over there. Yeah. That one looked awesome. Uh, see, I, I don't know. Unless I, I, I just, just maybe it was that one, but at the time I eyeballed and saw the real Audrey. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I saw. Yeah. I just pictured because it was in a darker lighting and stuff like that. Like it just covers up a little bit. I was of that so jealous when I saw that. She was like, our place are like this. I was like, look at this thing. I had that thing solved because remember, we like instantly started going, we need to get this to be our play. And like, what do we play? <laughs> right. Like, exactly. Like, yeah. Like, it's true. We did. We, uh, we were producing that thing like right away. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a Smithy in this. Brian Smithies. I know oh, that's I'm taking not, the Smithy on this one. An Alan Smithy. Well, it's, oh, it's Alan Smithy. Yeah, but uh, uh, I'm gonna take the Alan Smithy on this baby. I I understand. Like I could totally understand people very much not liking. Oh, this me movie. too. I could just be like, I can picture people watching even these credits that are all like slow and weird, just being like, "What the fuck did we just watch? Like, what the fuck just happened?" And there? I mean, like, this doesn't like really. This doesn't hold up for me like the way that he, that labyrinth does, or the way that um, like any of the Muppet movies do. Like, I can watch the Great Muppet Caper a billion times. I feel well. This so, movie like, is, I feel, is more about the style and the yeah. ideal behind it than. Yeah. Any major, you know, um, things happening or. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I like I've I applaud them, though. I mean, it was really ballsy of them to make this because they weren't even that. Oh, Ben Burt did the special effects. He did uh, stuff on like Star Wars and stuff. Like yeah. That. You, well, but, you uh, know, right? Right. I'm like, how do you know the sound effect? And I was like, oh, Star Wars. Yeah. There you go. Brian Froud uh, did the costume design and stuff. He was like the concept designer for all of this stuff. And he had a lot of say, like they were like, um, what's his face? Uh, like Jim Henson would say, oh, I want to do something like this. And Brian Froud's like, no fucking way. Like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, sorry, guy who's boss of all of this. Yeah. Not going to happen, bud. Faz Fazakis. That's a good name. Oh, there was only three people in the Gelfling unit. Well, there were only two Gelflings. They got the fucking bums rush. Yeah. Ooh, the mystic unit. Oh, yeah, that's what they're called. The Garth, mystic. oh, these are the good, the bugs. Those guys are the top, the tops for me. Yes. Agra and Urksex unit. 
Or Urskex. Those are the, oh, that's a land strider. I thought it was a, what the uh, hell? Is, oh, they're Urskies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Podling. Yeah, it's just so much. I really like when you see one where you're like, oh, look at like 20 people had to make this thing. I wish people like would that. talk about my second unit more. <laughs> yeah. It's because it looks more like it, it looks like, you know, when you see a two headed snake. Yeah. And it's like both both heads don't really work. The one kind of twitches and moves around. <laughs> yeah. The other one's head, mouth just kind yeah. of opens and drools. Oh, my God. Chris Evans did matte paintings on this. <laughs> Chris Evans. Yeah. I know that fucking Captain name. America. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking <laughs> just, right. Just I was like, why do I know that name? Like, <laughs> I, I like to confuse. It's sexually the, confused. Well, because you were you were thinking of Chris Evans in the context of somebody who was physically working in that time right. period. Where like you're looking. Well, no, not, but still, the name is pretty. Uh, you yeah, know, you're not thinking of a guy who. Oh, he was four when this movie came out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Oh, you know they at the, the Comic Con too. They had uh, Snowpiercer, the TV show. Yes, I did hear about that. I have no. no they say Chris Evans. I don't either. But the movie was neat. I had way too many questions during the movie. I didn't care for the movie. You know, well, no, it was neat, but I was like, eh. Well, it's not that I didn't care for the movie. I didn't care about the movie. And to me, those are two very different things. Where it's like the movie is like, wow, this looks really cool. It's like, I think that's what I would say about uh, Avatar. I didn't care about the movie. It just kind of happened. I was like, wow, really pretty movie. Let's move on to the next thing. Like, that was it. All right, guys, that's it. See ya. Now instantly jump over. And watch the entirety of the uh, of the series if you haven't done that already. Hopefully we're not. This- oh, maybe they're doing um, they're doing like their own hatchet cut of like uh, chronological order. So now they're gonna move. <laughs> so maybe they're catching us next. I, I thought you meant we just had to go back and start ours. That's yeah. what you should really start. Start it again. Yeah. Yeah. And then watch the middle 18 minutes, the exact middle 18 minutes of the Labyrinth one. Yep. And then watch uh, the first 15 minutes of Deadpool 2. We have didn't do anything with that. We haven't done like a commentary. We will. When we do do it, then do that. Yeah, then do that. No, just do it without that first. (laughs) Then go back and do it again with that. So like exactly. Yeah. If we've done that by now, you have to do it twice. You write this down. Are you writing this down? (laughs) We're not saying it again. I'm not putting this in the show notes. And if you even rewind it, it's gone. Yeah. Just this part. Yeah, your computer will erase. Yeah, we put a thing in there. It's like one of those like viruses that like people put up where it's like I've like locked your computer and you have to send me uh, like Bitcoin or you no, know, no, no, vanilla money. Mastercard numbers. Oh, lots of those iTunes too. cards. iTunes cards. Lots of iTunes yeah. cards. That's how I pay all my bills. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny they still turned off my power. <laughs> yeah, it's like what the fuck. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that is it for this week. Uh, catch us next week with a coming attractions episode. As always, catch us at miscastcommentary.com. Catch us podcast at miscastcommentary.com. Uh, Twitter at miscastpodcast at uh, JK Finley at miscasttodd. Uh, Instagram at miscastcommentary at JK Finley. Um, what else? Uh, our Patreon. Are you there? Are you, pa- <laughs> are you are you patrons of our show? Are you Patreoning? Come on, man. We got Games of Thrones rocking and rolling. We got early. You could have like you could have listened to this earlier in the week as well. That is true. So, and that would have freed up some time for you to Patreon out. To, like, yeah, catch up, catch up on the Patreon. So go check that out. Uh, Patreon.com slash miscast commentary. Find the links anywhere. Any like our website, the Facebook, anywhere. By all means, go check it out. Join us. You can Patreonize us mm-hmm. any day. Call or text us one two eight nine four seven. One two eight nine seven six nine four three two eight. Wow. One two eight nine seven six nine three two eight eight. I almost forgot the phone number there, but I got it. Um, Call yeah. it. That's it, baby. That's the end of the episode. Call we'll, the line. Yeah. Call the line. Text the line. Whatever you want. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Find out what we're doing two weeks from now next week. You know, you know how the future works. All right, guys. <laughs> I know exactly how it works. <laughs> if right. you call the line, I'll tell you. There it is. We'll see you guys later. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.